Testing, one, two, three. 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 <laughs> testing, one, two, three. 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 Ten, nine, eight, seven. <laughs> ten, oh, ten, nine, eight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight. Ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. Ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. Ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. In before my lead motion camera falls off my neck again. I should really invest in a choker or something, or you know, just buy another one of these. Money is tight though, and I'm a little bit lazy. One other place to put this. Gonna announce on Twitter really quick. Checking my hands. Those are all good. Facial expression's good. Frame rate's good. Let's get started. Long time no see, chat. Sorry I missed Saturday's stream. Unfortunately, I was down a mic. But now I am up a boom. And I am also up an XLR. I'm using a karaoke mic. Nothing too fancy here. But I did have to buy some additional equipment. For the first time, I used some of my Twitch funds to actually make some purchases. I got a mic boom here, and I also got a XLR cord. Had to pay. I used some of the refund money from my previous mic for the for the um, Focusrite solo I got, Scarlet solo I got going on here. So that helps pay for some of it. But I also had to use some of that money to get another. Uh, extended warranty plan on this, some plant protection in case the worst happens and I need to find myself back in Micro Center doing yet another replacement. Hopefully that will not be the case. 
it is Monday, which means we are once again continuing Anno Mutationum. Going to continue from where we left off last time. Going to see how far we can get. We left on another cliffhanger. It was kind of it was kind of wild, honestly. Uh, if you recall correctly, we uh, somehow we the uh, girl that we rescued from a couple episodes ago. Turns out she has magic, a neuronic magic powers. She has summoned Santa into this mortal plane. Somehow, don't mind me. I'm just uh, kind of adjusting my mic here, trying to get the best positioning. I have to also make sure that the webcam can still have full access to my hands and also my face, so that it can still properly, you know, showcase both. There's a little bit of lag going on. This time I didn't bother to run the VTuber test, uh, the uh, VC face test. I might have to do that anyway, just for, you know, good practice. Me stuck on frozen until this recommended setting is finished. Measuring system performance, running all this stuff at once. I can't imagine it'd be that bad though, all things considered. Also, have a lot of uh, less messy desk now since I no longer using the other mic, which would not have a boom few records and the getting in the way of things, I suppose. 19 FPS? Eh. I don't like that. Well, we'll try it anyway, see how it works in 19. I feel like 19 is too slow. I feel like it's not going to properly track my... Testing, 1, 2, 3. Testing one, two, three. Uh, testing. Because it should use a combination of both hearing my voice and also math movements. And it should. There's actually a fairly decent amount of light in my room for once. So it should be fairly good from the light standpoint, right? It should anyway. One second. How about now? Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff, so forgive me sir, for taking some time to uh, set this up. It's also my first stream being run with an XLR mic, so I have to get used to the setup like this being in my face. It's a lot less in the way though than the previous one, than the uh, previous mic, so I can't complain too much, right? I'm still concerned that my lips are not as well synced as yeah there's a little bit of a delay hmm. just a little bit though it's not too bad right i feel like i should bump it up a little bit more just to And I wish we could, like, change the settings for the avatar without having to restart the program constantly. Let's use 24 cinematic experience.
I don't know why I came like an mutation and takes up so many resources anyway. Alright. So I guess I'm addicted to the 24. I'm addicted to the uh, movie experience, obviously. Alright. Without further ado, let's get started, shall we? I wonder why my hands keep doing that. Where I just... I wonder almost if there's... I might need to think of a way to attach this to the bottom of my webcam instead, but if I'm going to be switching to using my f phone tablets eventually, I guess it's not necessary. At least that's my idea why I haven't bothered to improve that area, that aspect of my track of my uh, streams yet. Pretty soon, I don't think we'll have a choice though. And it looks like my um. The uh, other arm of my leave motion holder is about to snap off as well. See a little bit of cracking coming in over here. Six months though. Not bad, I guess, for the price. Oh, who am I kidding? It was like 15 bucks. It was kind of expensive, all, th all things considered. Alright. I talk too much. Let's go ahead and start continue playing, right? In this city, we built under a brand new order. Those infected by mechanical virus get free bioskins. Why does he keep doing that? Okay, let's move the move my boom this way. What about now? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Do you think? Do you think I'm overthinking it, chat? Yeah. I might be overthinking it. When we last let off, we just got off the ship, completed a couple more boss fights, and we're back here. I actually don't know what we're supposed to do next, to be honest. 8,000 credits, 20 C, 55. Let's go ahead and buy some talents. Uh, when equipping blade staff, press J for a shutdown and release to use wind blade. How does this work? Hmm. All right. Firearms auto loading. She is strong. She is real. Hmm. We'll go ahead and get this. And we have twenty of these now. I could buy a whole bunch. I could buy like two of these now, if I so wished. Question is, which one? If I get this, I won't need to worry about dying anytime soon. Parrot, I feel like is kind of a waste. If I kill things fast enough, I don't necessarily need. Hey, cow, how are you today? Welcome to the stream. Glad you could join us. We are just getting started. I was doing some technical stuff and uh, fucking around with my new mic. That's why we started a little bit late. 13 minutes late. Not that late, I guess. How you doing today, Cal? Oh, I could get both of these, actually. That sounds like a good idea. So I don't really use the Greatsword Charge Slash that much. Uh, 
I might though. That's kind of cool. I'm kind of surprised I don't use the light sword that much either, but ever since I got the blade staff, I didn't see the point. DDK? And let's try the kicking for once. You gonna listen to me a little bit before sleeping? Aww. I shall provide your ASMR then. I'll just call you Moyu then, instead of Cal. I gotta call and call- I got in the habit of calling you Cal from, um, the MST3K streams anyway. Yo. And the corn shop is still here for some reason. I wonder if I could keep fighting. Alright, I guess we could continue fighting. Let's do it. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> I thought this was only- you could only do this once for like the plot. I didn't realize you could actually come back here a few times. So we're gonna try it out. Wait, these don't seem right. Oh, uh, no, let's go here. Gonna change the weapon out for the pistol instead. I'm going to talents. Relearn how to use the kicks again. SDK? Oh. Hmm. Feels like I'm trying to learn how to play a fighting game again. regret choosing this. Because I can barely replicate it, which is the problem. I guess I could always just make more of these from killing people. Press SDK to use Jujutsu, keep pressing K to do follow-up attacks. Oh, okay, so it is a matter of... You have to... Put it in as if it was a fighting game, fighting game combination. That explains a lot, actually. Is there something wrong with my... How about that now? Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Hmm. That's weird. It's almost as if How about now? Testing one two three. Uh ooh, e, ho ha. Hmm. Testing one, two, three. I need to check this out later. I hope my webcam's not going out next because it's gonna be a pain in the ass to. I guess it won't be that much more expensive to replace than other things with it. But it kind of annoys me when the tracking is not the best. But I guess it's not entirely my fault. It just comes and goes as it pleases, right? Whatever. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> mouth movement. Yeah, mouth movement's being kind of sus right now. Burn, burn, burn. 
There's no female. Oh. That one. Oh man, am I gonna die from my own Reese? Time to cheat. What's that? We just spam dodge rolls up in this house. That wasn't so bad. Sometimes for you too. I think it depends on the game, which is weird because I can play outward just fine sometimes and there are no problems with lip syncing in outward. That was not a he, but okay. All right. Oh, 500 credits. That's actually quite. That's actually uh, quite generous. Another. All right. We get to fight some from Scop now. This ought to be fun. Hmm. Wonder what else we could find around here. Really wish I could pull off this kicking and this uh, these martial arts more consistently. SDK. 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 It's supposed to knock people in the air, and if it doesn't knock them into the air, it's kind of worthless. Let me check the stats of my blade here really quick. So it only fits two at a time, which is problematic, as me guess. Can I just no? Keep that there. I use two handed style. Here we go. Whoa, who's this guy? This shot to be interesting. Sure you can Okay, that's cool. I like the designs they made for these uh, fights you can Oh shit, he actually does a decent chunk of health too. Doesn't mean anything though if you can't reach me, huh? Why block when you can dodge? That's my motto. One, two, three. 
Sure you can. Sure you can. Oh shit. I'm running out of ammunition. I better hold on to those. How weird how everyone has a shield except me. I always thought. Oh, that's different. I didn't have that before. I just need to break his shield one more time and I could finish him off at this point. Now. That does absolutely no anti-shield damage. Cringe. Got him. That wasn't so bad. Are these guys supposed to be stronger than this? Because if they are, well, I have unfortunate news. I'm not even using, like, the best gear right now. Yeah. Hmm, is Eric the man wanted by his cops a cop? This submission was from, like, way in the beginning of the game. I wonder what happened to that, because it said, Oh, you should help us look for this guy, and I'm like, okay. And then it disappeared from my, from my quest list, for whatever reason. Yep, let's play again. She must have met her sales targets because of you. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's kind of hard to have uh, sales if all of your fighters keep getting taken out by one person, right? Shit sucks, bro. Shit sucks. What if I... Do... What about this? Oh. Great. Of course. Yeah, I kind of was afraid that would happen. Now, so it's now... It's over my... But I need to put my hand on top of the... <laughs> shit. I should probably stop fucking with this, huh? What about this? Okay, now the uh, cardioid mic is more or less closer to front of me and no longer obscuring the face. And right over here. You know, this is not half bad, actually. This might work out just fine. I guess I could just, I guess that's kind of the beauty of having these things. You can just really adjust them in wherever you like without accidentally hurting something. <clears throat> Who's next? Who's next? Oh shit. This guy looks cool. This actually looks this person actually looks really cool. I feel like I've fought this person before. Ow shit. Hey, nice sword. Mine's bigger though. Oh my god, they do a shit ton of damage. Oh no 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 no. Well you cannot have that chat. Sorry to say. Is she getting faster? Alright, that was funny, not gonna lie. I think this is actually an easier fight than the last one. Which is very unfortunate. Now I'm actually staggering her, which didn't happen last time either. Did the game just like give up? Be like, oh, I'm just gonna let her take it, take the win. This is really sad. This fight is legitimately a lot easier than last time. 
Oh, shit. Managed to get one hit in, huh? Oh, fuck. Okay, that's it. Got you. That was not that bad. I don't know what's going on there, honestly. I feel like that was way too easy. <laughs> I got an arena gold belt. Uh, how badass. You don't have what I want. <laughs> well, we can't stay, but at least we got a shiny new belt. I'm not sure what it's good for, though. It's probably just for show or for, like, achievements and stuff. We're still trying to figure out what this corn juice is for, though. This is a fake boxing ticket. Bloodstained paper. Hold up. Where is my belt? Here it is. Secret arena? Not so secret to me. We got 10 grand worth of... 10 grand now. Gonna put that to good use. Let's see what's in the shop over here. I see this guy everywhere too. Not sure what his deal is. Just yet. already there. Already looked at that. No need to look at it again. Less words, more punches. I love that. Is that a talking animal? Cybernica to collect. Hi. I'm not a little thing. It's lo it's talking. It's alive. He's alive. Indeed, it's very cute. Very cute indeed. But thank you for noticing. As if we didn't notice its cuteness from just looking at it. You're annoying, Freddy. Is this a reference to Freddy Fazbear? I hope not. My master chip. That's kind of overpowered. Let's equip it. What are we putting it on, though? Yeah, I'm definitely going to put it on this one here. Ha! Uh, other, every other attack does crits now. That's kind of OP. I have free... My sword, uh, meanwhile, does freezing damage. Which I'll keep it like that. I'm quite fond of that freezing damage, to be honest. Codename Samurai makes you as strong as a real samurai, apparently. Let's see what you got for sale, my dude. But first, we're gonna dismantle all my garbage. Alright. This is all junk that I can sell as well. For 424 credits, apparently. Combine items to make pistol rounds or missile ammo. No need for that. It looks like he just sells parts, I guess? You don't sell, like, buildables? Oh, hey, it's this guy. From Moss von Korn. What are you gonna sell me? Break his mecha arm? I can now purchase these blades. The problem is, I guess as much money as I have, I should just go ahead and buy the interior weapons if I can find them. Make the rest of the game a walk in the park. So these things do 90 and 35. 
This says 43.2 and 15. Certainly far stronger than my current one, and it also comes with an extra chop with an extra chip socket. That's kind of wild, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I'll need to see how much the ones back home cost, though. Let's see if they got any uh, references here. Uh... So that due to pop portable A bombs. Yeah, who doesn't want to buy A bombs, right? Pre unstable blasters. That gun is kind of fucked up. Don't sell any guns either. Hmm. It's kind of bare bones. I think, if I call correctly, when I because I fought the correct all the uh, troops on the sh container ship, there's something cool that's gonna happen if I talk to the people over here or talk to the fishermen. Or whoever it was that was, that, uh, was losing, missing an item. Yeah, I'm in the wrong place. Let's go up here. It's not what I want. Yeah. It's over there on the uh, western side. Go over there really quick. This map confuses me. It's uh, over here. There we go. Wait, nope. You need to get down there somehow. Is it over here? Been a while since I. How do you get down there? Shit. Um. Need this direction instead. In the exotic animal expo. Oh, I know what he's talking about. I wonder what game this guy is from. A literal samurai. Cyber samurai, I should say. The exotic expo is cool too, but I don't know how to purchase that thing. I don't know if you're supposed to spend money or what. Mysterious goods. This is such a strange quest, but then again, so are a lot of this game. So does he just have a lot of lost stuff all over the place or something? Alright, thanks for the money. Let's talk to the mysterious uh, shopkeeper again. If I could find him. He's on one of these rusted hulks somewhere. He might be over there, actually. It might be that one. I'll need to manually check them, I guess. Yep, it's this guy. Oh, the game's not going to let me purchase it. It's only 5,000 credits. <laughs> Good thing I screenshotted it, but it's just not going to let me look at it again. Sadly. Oh. Uh, if that's it, then. No 
point in sticking around here. Let's head out. I actually don't know what the next part of my mission is. is... Alright, so we have to go to a ROM shop in Noctis and have the ROM fixed. I know where that is. Nine percent, eighty two percent there. Rom shop, rom shop, rom shop, rom shop. Here we go. I really like the cutscenes, they have the transitions they got going on here. New weapons can be crafted at the workshop. Well, okay, that's good news. Let's uh, make a stop by there then. Rom There's a chip shop there, clothing there, Zoom call there. Yeah, I was afraid of this. These weapons are vastly inferior to the ones that I was looking at that I could just buy straight up instead of crafting. That's unfortunate. Like, way inferior. There's no point in even purchasing them. Honestly. Unless I was, like, trying to finish up the whole game. Then again, it's only 1,750, so that's really not much in the way of price. I could probably make that money back from just playing normally. Emphasis on the probably. Let's see if there's anything for sale back home in uh, Scop, really quick. to the let's see now modifying combining weapons here burger shop there sh chip shop there weapon shop there I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and buy one of the cars since I got 15 cyber echoes now but you never I always kind of slow to use those items because I always feel like what if I find something better that might be more useful what then? In reality, what ends up happening is that I never use those things, and they just kind of accumulate. Ah, see? New items can be crafted. Let's take a gander, shall we? Hey! Hi! So he's actually selling the same we- holy fuck! Solar flare, and that looks like a weapon for sure. Showdown's here too. Costs around 5,000. I need to compare, but I'm fairly sure that's a lot stronger than what I could have gone. It Hi. says all these multiple systems make me wonder if these things were like afterthoughts because. I mean, what's the point of crafting weapons if you can just straight up buy one that's far vastly superior, right? 
or vice versa. There is no point to buying weapons in Cyberpunk 2077 for this reason. You can always just craft better ones. Hey Frankenstein, how are you today? <laughs> Combine items. Shit, man. I really need to be like screenshotting all these things so I can do deep price comparisons. Because I think these craftables are actually stronger than the uh, ones I can just straight up buy. I like this one in particular. It looks like a shark. I still need eight more of that um, green block stuff and I need uh, four of those yellow cheese cracker things. You kind of want to just sail through the rest of the game, right? Uh, my day's been okay. Got my new XLR set up and the mic boom and stuff set up. How's my voice sound? <laughs> mm. Having some strange uh, face tracking issues right now, but it could be worse. It could be that it's not as bad as I think it is, and I'm just, um, you know, being a little OCD about as I tend to be sometimes. Okay, so this is... Um... Forty-three, thirty-two, huh? Okay. Uh, this one's forty-five, nine, and seventeen. Vastly superior to the one I can just straight up buy. It seems to me it's mainly a matter of patience. Do I want to save up and wait before I can craft these, or do I just want to buy over the pop, over the top weapon now? Which is probably the point. Choices, choices. Oh yeah, definitely. This is 150, 150. This is 1935. Alright, fine. Fuck it. I'll just save up money for these things then. Or save up materials. Sounds great. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. No items to dismantle. Combine items. I wonder if I can, like, buy material. Oh, I'm fucking... That guy, that guy back in the, um... Back in the harbor town actually sold these things, didn't he? What am I doing? I just go back there, then. But first off, let's see what will happen over here. There's an audible difference. Hmm. Well, I am using an XLR now as opposed to a USB mic. So that should be part of it, right? At least I would think it is. Even though I'm just using a karaoke mic, this is not like a super expensive XLR, but it is nonetheless an XLR mic. Hi. Hmm. Well, I took the bounty and got paid for my services. I hope that was worth a thousand credits. I hope that guy wasn't, like, framed or something, or I'm going to feel really bad about ratting him out. He wasn't even that particularly strong either, all things considered. Back to Harbor Town. Yeah, I think I could get used to this. Using an XLR mic, I mean. 
Also, about all the animations, I think the one to Harbor Town is probably one of the better ones. Maybe? Maybe not? I guess that kind of looks kind of dumb, doesn't it? Alright. Let's see what they got for me over here. It seemed... Oh, what did I think of it? It seemed pretty fair to me. One of many of uh, my Saruma soldiers. Why do you ask? Ah. Ooh, you can actually just buy them here. Some of them, anyway. It looks like I need... I also need... So I can buy the materials I need, but I need, or some of the materials I need, but I also need those uh, yellow things, whatever those were. And I don't know how to make those. Apparently I have one of them, so let's take a look at what they are. Gold. Can be obtained by decomposing electronic products. So I have to collect junk and discard them repeatedly until I drop some gold. Alright, that seems fair. Just curious, you got labeled stinky? That <laughs> serves you right. I'm kidding. I mean, you know that stuff is just uh, for, jo for fun and games, right? I don't know what's going to happen if I stop into the uh, fighting arena and let them know that I ratted out um, what's-his-face. Yeah, it was a good time. Is it not going to let me stay and fight more? That's sad. Since I can't just get more gold. Or buy it, for that matter. Unless I find a place that sells gold. We cannot continue with crafting the best weapons in the game. At least not yet. I just need to find a place that sells it, I guess. But where? Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to just go to various places that have enemy respawning enemies or what. I'm curious what the... If there's anything else to do over here. Oh, hard landing there, huh, Ann? New weapons can be crafted at the workshop. Alright, but I need to get parts. Mm. Take a hint? Why were we so rude to that guy? an old gas station here, but not much else, huh? I wonder if they had plans for this gas station originally and had to scrap them. 
It kind of feels like this entire section was just an afterthought and they were struggling to find a use for it still. Hmm. Paranoia Weekly. Are there sections of this area that I haven't explored yet? Oh. Maybe. Maybe not. That's the underground entrance, it. Old composite metal. Let's try going underground and seeing if the enemies respond or not. They didn't want they didn't want to waste the asset? Yeah, that makes sense. It would be a shame if they did, honestly. This is so good. It honestly looks like a different it looks like a completely different game in some ways. See if any enemies respond. Only problem is the underground area here is so large that this can get very tedious very quickly. Why are vending machines down here too? Pretty sure I looted all of the serious. What else we got going on here? Down we go. basement area again but so far nothing has respawned sad face this is a very large map as you can see Thankfully, there are teleport pads down here as well. So we can just move about. No big deal. Don't see what the point is in using that. Super worker. Oh boy, hottie. We're in a combat zone again. So that's good news. That's a good sign. Another good sign. It looks like enemies do in fact respawn after our after our fashion. Yep. That's really easy though. These enemies are nothing to me. Literally all I have to do. Two robots though. So not much in the way of... Not much in the way of material, but it's a good way to test your combat abilities, I guess.
Can I just teleport all the way down? I can teleport over there, actually. So let's teleport over there really quick. Correctly, this should also be a combat area. Has one of those at least. Jury's out though, and if there's any more around since I cleaned out this area last time. Just the basic traps, I guess. Fringe. Yeah, this is not going to work. It looks like I cleaned out all of the enemies already. And if that's the case, then... I won't be able to get materials from down here, either. What about on this side? Nothing here. Re. Now this is pretty empty too. You would think the biological research base would have a lot of garbage to to collect, but. Unfortunately, you would also probably be wrong. I could see if this one does, though. I guess allowing you to buy gold would make this a little bit too easy to craft weapons. Just a bit. Just a bit. Look at the size of this thing. Good grief, man. There's an abandoned, even an abandoned submarine there. Where to now? Let's go to the other side of the map. The red zone. The fabled red zone. In spite of the music change, it is the holy spring water. <laughs> ah, here we go. Why 
we just go to the tribe camp then? Why am I going all this way? Oh, the Avengers, that's why. Let's go in the wrong direction. They sell lots medications there and also a crafting station? What's that doing there? I don't remember this. That's it, really. They just kind of tell you to beat it. So I can buy steel, aluminum, and the capacitor from this guy. The corn shop is still here as well. There's no point in crafting the Mamba or the Twin Blades Concussion anymore because they're just inferiorly inf inferior. What am I going to do? What am I going to do, chat? Can I dismantle items? Nothing to dismantle? Get out of here, I guess. Wait, why are we going down? I thought we were leaving. I'm confused. I literally just went through this area last time and I'm already confused in spite of that. Oh, I know where we are now. wonder if any enemies can respawn at this point. Huh. I found, it looks like I found some things that I missed last time. So that's a plus. to run through here all over again. These guys have respawned after all, which is good. I was starting to get a little bit bored there. They're not particularly strong either. Not that I would expect them to be, but... That's where I keep getting pistol rents, huh? Another mechanical lake to that I've looted for my own purposes. sure what's happening there. More fleshy bits. And the big boy. Ow. And you are dead as well. Eggs. Are they plants or animals, or are they alive? These are all good questions. They will not be answered by this game, or by me for that matter. 
Iron V systems. That's very stereotypical, like science fi stuff right there. The whole window has a has a bunch of blood and guts on it thing. How do I get out of here again? This way, right? Uh, no, this way, this way. Weird how some of these boxes just respawn and others do not. I don't know if I'm supposed to just like go through all these areas repeatedly and just find where the boxes are located so I can open them up again. Like, did you see that? They just respawn garbage in them. Ow. That was totally not my intent, but it is what occurred. I mean, you want to talk about grind. I definitely don't want to replay the several levels in this game. Just looking for, to see which one of these boxes are open, have been have new loot in them. That's gonna get old really fast, and not in a good way. That gave me grombits, right? But where is the loot? So I guess it gives me grombits if you want to just go ahead and grind out the uh, different levels. Fair enough, but also it doesn't give you that much. There used to be a boss in this area. Said boss is gone now. But at least he can run through it fairly fast, all things considered. I also don't really like the fact that there are different combat zones, and there's also com zones with no combat. So you just sort of slog through the areas with no combat and leap through the ones that do. I should just make it all one area. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm not gonna wait around down here. I know where the ROM shop is, unfortunately. So let's go up there. Shit, man, is it getting hotter? Why do I feel so fatigued? I haven't even been streaming for that long today either. Barely an hour or so. It's still kind of annoyed that my VTuber model is not tracking as well as it usually does. For reasons. We're back. We are back. <clears throat> Shit, these things don't make gold. Would be nice, you know. Would be really nice if they did. Not for this, though. These things are garbage. Are 
Are there any gonna ever be any new chips? For that matter? That's a clothes store. Answer appears to be no. This guy again. Yo. Hey, Askarok, thanks again for the raid. How are you this Monday morning? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hmm. How you doing, Astaroth? Thanks again for the raid. Some new music you like today, huh? What kind of music? Mm. That was easy. Now for more plot. The ROM has been modified. Go check it out for yourself over there. Let's see. Hmm, hard to say, but this artist has left his Groove Armada. That's cool. Oh, what genre is that? Electro Swing? Said it. Plot thickens. The plot thickens. Hey Ace! Long time no see. How are you today? What you up to? I'll show you a thick plot. Like these guns. I'm all right. Kind of a, kind of feel a little tired this afternoon for some reason. Making my way through more of this game, as jank as it is. <sighs> all right, so we need to head home, I guess. Because it turns out the doc that we have not talked to you this whole game since the very beginning is being kind of sus, to be honest. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and... I wonder if there's anything else to... Hmm. I want to go home first. See what happens when I go there and visit the uh, small magical child in person. It's a mix of several genres, huh? That's interesting. Susi Baka, indeed. Only the susiest and the Baka, most Baka of susies in this chat, in this game. I didn't eat that much for lunch. I was gonna have a pizza, but then the pizza turned out to be spoiled. But I did manage to have leftover sausage egg McMuffin. 
Yo, what the fuck's going on? This is unexpected. Retrieved. No abnormalities. Ready for transport. What is happening? Did I see sequence break? No. Who are these people? Why are they here? This Let is different. My dad. I didn't expect this just now. That, that was weird. What's going on? An adoption agency? That's dumb, so they just took the uh, child after <laughs> all that shit I had to go through just to get them? I mean, that went through a lot of bullshit just to get that, you know? Or to rescue her, you know? Ah, well. That's how it is sometimes, I guess. Gonna go through all these uh, trash cans again to see if I can find any rare parts. Hopefully some with gold so I can craft the best weapons in the game. I wonder if I'll even... Maybe I can just go with the default weapons the whole game and not have a problem. Don't smoke if you're underage. Don't need to tell me twice. I, I wonder if this is actually how they designed the game, where you just have to go to each map and dig through the trash and the uh, cigarette trash can cigarette cans, collecting junk, which you will then tear apart for materials to craft your ultimate weapons. Unless you spend all your skill points on the uh, tear it to artificially boost your luck so that you have a greater RNG chance of finding important things in the gold. Right. Be much better if we could just like buy the parts I need, you know? I feel like I'm going to pass out. Sleepy lulls. Yes, I'm very sleepy. Sadly. I don't know what it is. The heat also kind of contributes to making me feel sleepy, I suppose. This area has been replanned by President Jolene. Dumpster diving for more garbage to sell and to tear apart for parts. That's actually going to get old really fast, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Whoa. 
Yes, indeed, they did grab a child. Nothing the game's gonna let me do about that, though. May I go, go talk to the people inside? See if there's any new dialogue options. Yeah, no shit, they're not good guys. Is that Cyber Neko there the whole time? Did I just... Ah! Thank you so much for the sub, Aislinn. Much appreciated. You've gifted 18 subs in this channel so far, that's wild. I should probably use those sub goal option things and like put them... Make them appear on the screen. I don't know if it'll increase the number of subs I get, but it would probably be helpful. Whoa, Orisu just happened to be online too. Smacking you, smacking smack me up with flip flops to wake me up. Well, I appreciate it. Also, the throwables should end sooner because I'm pretty sure I reduced the amount of items. Thank you. Ah, uh, I do feel a little bit more awake though. Thank goodness, yeah. No kidding, right? It was very long. I only cut it in half, honestly. Can't stop, won't stop. That's a big ass hamburger. A quadruple decker. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time really bad for you but i cannot deny that sometimes you just have a craving a craving for that special sauce they put in big Macs, so which i think it's just thousand island or something no it's like it's like mayonnaise mixed with something tangy all right so where did they go then let's go back here fuck it fuck it By the way, how's my voice sound now? According to Frankenstein, apparently there's a clear quality difference between my previous mic and this one. Like a clear one, apparently. I'm interested to know. Huh. Can you dismantle my crap too? Uh, no. I need to have my stuff dismantled really quick. Adhere them side by side to be sure. Fair enough, fair enough. You believe this mic is more directional than my last? Oh, definitely. I mean, this is a cardioid mic compared to my other mic, which I think was only in two directions. Okay. Okay. This is so annoying. I need to get more gold. I'm wondering if these are like, these are like epic level weapons and that's why it's prohibitively difficult to acquire them all right see you ace thanks for stopping by smooches ciao whoa did you see it it was lagging something fierce just now You know, a capsule hotel shouldn't be getting this sort of press. It's a capsule hotel.
Let's see what horrors horrors we will find in Alan's lab. If any. I'm sure it'll be he'll have plenty of colorful reasons to lie to us. Hi. Let us take a gander. That's not home. I bet that's no coincidence. Oh shit. Here we go. When the game does something when games do something like this, you just know something bad's gonna happen. Plot thickens, chat. And the plot is thick. For him to hack into his lab, too. No less. If I can. This one take me. One second. Let me figure this out. Wait. Here we go. Figured it out. And of course, the game gives me all this cool shit in the entrance. Huh. Dr. Sneaky also has teleportation tech in his lab? Yes, he is. Yes, he does. Let's save the game. This will totally not be the uh, beginning of yet another boss fight. The pacing is not the best, so I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Hmm, there's a teddy bear here. Even better. Let's go ahead and we'll need to figure out what the code is before we can unlock this. Interesting. <sighs> Michelle, huh? Okay. Michelle, huh? Sussy. A mysterious key for opening a retro device of some kind. Okay. We can't open that yet. We need to figure out where the... It's probably scattered here in the ground somewhere. The doc is quite messy with his uh, tools at the seams. This one just requires a normal... Okay.
Yeah. What? Shit. Damn it. There we go. Got it. I am a hacker. You're surprised I stuck with this game with as long as I have? I mean, I trash it a lot, but it's not so terrible that I cannot continue playing it. At best, it's just... At worst, it's just annoying, I guess. I got this far in the game. I might as well see it to the end. And the combat is nice, so there's that. <laughs> I've only been playing this for 15 hours anyway. So not very long at all. All things considered. Now I need to figure out the code to this one. It's probably hidden in plain sight somewhere nearby. Like maybe on the floor. And be on these little pieces. been missing for five hours. That's not spooky at all. What good news, Doc? What are you trying to tell me? Good lord, my tummy doesn't feel right. Search failed. Your robot friend is definitely dead. How are you doing, Arisu? You know, with only three combinations, I could theoretically just try every possible combination until one of these work, if I work quickly enough. You know, forcibly break the code. It's a deal. Not computer though. This could take a while. How many permutations are there with three choices? Hey, Sleepy Kato. Thank you. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Right now, I'm just trying to uh, hack her my way into this computer. The solution's probably written somewhere, and I just need to pay better attention. Is there an elevator on the other side of this room? Hmm. Now that was easy. <laughs> How you doing today? Is that not readable? Flashover chip. Photo of an apartment. Oh, here it is. I bet you it's on the, on the uh, photo of this apartment. So it should be...
What in the world is this? The intelligence index. I know it's my intelligence index is still empty. You know, I didn't even realize that there's actually a lot of lore just written about each of these character these creatures. Blind crab. Brand scrub. Well, these are creepy. Where is this? The shape of water is a reference. Hidden in Ellen's secret lab, the photograph seems to show the outside of one of the apartments in Margarita. Really? So that's where we're going with this, huh? I'm willing to bet that show that right over there is the solution for the. Wait a minute. The game wants me to go there, but why don't I make a stop to Margarita really quick? Couldn't hurt. Since I don't see the solution written anywhere in this room. That's a big ass elevator though. Christ. Why am I so fucking tired today? I swear to god. Feels like I could just collapse at any moment. Weird. Something, something about pina coladas. Okay. This photo of an apartment is quite obviously referring to this thing. I think. So I also know that this was openable for some whatever reason. So I was derping around and I accidentally found a apartment you can actually enter in the game. I didn't know why you could enter it. You just could. I guess they couldn't be more transparent if they wanted. Is it this one? It is this one, right? Hmm. Uh 
Oh, I get it. That key I found earlier, the retro key, opens this thing. Which opens this area. Yeah, and there's a little, uh... There's a bedroom, and there's a similar stuffed animal here. But this also requires code. Which I don't currently have the... Interesting. A little, uh... Well, that's a pretty obvious answer, isn't it? the hell is this? A hidden elevator? Interesting. Let's see. Looks like it's a home. Inside a person. Looks like a house. This is actually really cute. Going to hack this person's computer. Square open okay then. Let's see what we got to Oh my god. Army men. What's happening? Wow, you know what? As much as I shit on this game, that was actually a very, very clever form of storytelling. There's actually been a lot of those cutscenes throughout this game. The other ones were pretty basic. They were just kind of like flashbacks of uh, your life with your siblings. Uh, meant kind of interspersed there. Meant to kind of um, make you, give you an idea of what her, what the uh, Ann, Ann Flores' relationship was with her family. But that was actually pretty good. Um... I don't know who the fuck these people are at all, but it was a very clever way to, in only a few seconds, kind of give a brief overview of who they are. Why is this here, though? Okay, so... This teddy bear has this symbol over its head. What's... I wonder if I'm sequence breaking right now. Am I supposed to be entering this place already? Got some Fallout era shelters here. Okay. So we got another symbol here. The, uh, oh, this. Looks like the others have been erased or scratched out. Profit from another world. Were we visited by aliens? Is that what's going on here? Ascension. Hello. The data files clearly show they were written by Alan Doyle. Open.
interesting. Interesting. Okay. More stuff to tear apart for pieces. External mecha spine. Another, uh, another cutscene, it looks like. Einderson hires neurology professor Alan Doyle. This time, it's a little bit hard to figure out the code. It looks like we will need to... Starts with that one, huh? this one can we brute force it eighty three seconds we might be able to brute force it actually Eight seconds. Unless, of course, I'm wrong, and this is not the solution. That is not the uh, first part of the puzzle at all. No. There must be more clues somewhere else in this building. There's another teddy bear over here. This chip code saves. Vintage memory card. This one also needs to... I was not ready for this puzzle to actually be hard. Because before this, they are fairly simple. Alright, so the teddy bear here. So that was the code for that one. are very interesting big booba on the mom I just realized else here
Assuming this is right. What if... Unless, what if it was okay? It's gonna work on that one, huh? Do the teddy bears have different symbols on them? No? Maybe I'll work on this one then. Found it. I was able to brute force it. So the game really did expect you to brute force that. That's actually kind of interesting. Oh no. Did someone rob you? What is that collar? Yeah, she's wearing it now, apparently. Um, <laughs> punish doctor. Okay, that's really cute. Oh, okay, she's asleep. I was kind of worried that something else happened. Does she have a neurological disorder or something? X, O, upwards, and square.
That is not the code. It's not the code because that's the one for the other teddy bear back in back in Scop City. If that's the case, then... I do need to review the VOD because I don't even remember what I put in for the last one either, huh? This picture still kind of spooks me a bit. I wonder if it's backwards. Square, up, circle, and X. It's not backwards. Ah, managed to do it again. Oh no. Does she have memory loss? Did it out of order. You're supposed to do the one on top first. Then you do this one. And then you do this one. And this is the code for somewhere else. I imagine it's probably the code for all the way back in Scop City. Okay. Well, this has been a rather a fun puzzle, actually. I don't remember the last time I played a game where the puzzles require you to actually, you know, um, brute force the uh, codes. But it makes sense in context, too, so...
Also, I'm really dumb. The code for the door was right there, wasn't it? This whole time. I mean... I guess it should have made sense. Okay. Meanwhile, the trash cans have once again respawned. Give me your garbage. Back to Scop City we go. I haven't been back to our room in a while either. We might as well do that. See if anything has changed since our last visit. She really does not give a fuck, does she? I just realized that the uh, trophy from bartending is here now, too. That wasn't there before. At least I think it's the same trophy, right? I could be remembering wrong, or it could just be wishful thinking. Which would be sad, but what can you do sometimes? Hey, I got an achievement for that just now. That's weird. Are you supposed to, like, just repeatedly take a shower every time you come back home? Iron Fist, Nancy. Is it much Yoshka doll here?
Finally, gold from a vintage memory card, no less. How much longer will it take for me to craft an awesome weapon? Forever. I need three more of these things. Oh boy. And I can only craft one of them too, so I have to make it count. Anything else change in this area? Cultists. Cars. Not much then. I could purchase the Catmobile now. I got like 15 Nekos. Eh. Could also use that those Nekos on clothing though, so I'm not sure if I really want to, honestly. It occurred to me that the rock band I was here earlier has vanished. Oh. Help you find the killer Templar? Sure. Oedipus. Alright, so where are we going to find this lead singer then? Let's talk to Oedipus first. I don't even know where to begin with that, actually. An 80-year contract? Shit, man. Do I even want to anymore? Let the guy live his life. <sighs> we only got one. Now that I've accepted his contract, I don't even know where to begin to look for him. I guess one of the first places I would visit to see if I could find him is like a nightclub or something. And I was right. It looks like he is hiding somewhere over here. He is... Yep. Thought so. I'm intentionally avoiding the main quest line for now. This shouldn't take very long anyway, right? Could be my famous last words, though. Where's this guy hiding? Ah, uh, there he is. <laughs> oh my god. Shop, huh? 
So we had to go talk to the ROM shop owner up here. No more ROMs to purchase. He asked me to give this to the person who asked about his whereabouts, his memories, and his feelings. So that's what this is. See what happened. Looks like Apollo is dead, more or less. Well, not really dead, but he functionally destroyed his own memories. That kind of sucks, bro. <laughs> we can't tell him either. So let's go ahead and head back. That's fairly quick too. Always raining in this city, isn't it? Does he actually give you your la the last song ever written by them? That's kind of cool. Well, if he does, I don't notice it anywhere. Hey, Christian. Mm -hmm. From your stream, it was the screenshot sounds. Yes, it was. Kind of miffed that he didn't give me Apollo's last song. I guess I got Apollo's heart, and that's good enough, right? I wonder if I'm nearing the... Because there aren't many spaces left. There's only one box left here for an important item. Is this nearing the end of the game already? Big of true, but also sad of true. Twenty-one out of twenty-two side missions completed. I 
told them that they are dead. Side missions completed, 21 out of 22. We're actually nearing the end of this game, it looks like. That's unfortunate. Yeah, oh, it's 100% already, never mind. That's also 100% already. Then, what's the last side mission? Or did I screw up somewhere and maybe there's... One second. This seems kind of strange. It says here, woman on a side mission. Complete all side quests. So, is that it then? Is that the... Why does it say side missions completed 21 out of 22 then? I need to check this out. One second. Looks like not many people got that far. So there is a more than one ending, huh? So there's one last left here, and it says here it's in research area, base area B. Hmm. That's strange. Okay. How did you get to the room on the top right of passage B1R1 in research space area B? So there is a missing room. I went through there and I was thinking to myself, it feels like there should be more here. But then I couldn't figure it out. If we're this close, we might as well finish it. Okay, so underground water channel base is 100%. Underground base area is in 100%. I think I understand now. It must be a map that I've not been to yet.
that's really done. So according to the forums, there are only 21 side quests in the game. But according to the game itself, it clearly says there's 22 of them. Curious. I don't want to spoil myself on the story. I just want to know if there's a, if the game is, if the, I just want to know if the game is intentionally, one second, why is this playing? That's probably part of the reason I have so much lag right now. Game facts. Does anyone even still use game facts? Um, Anno mutation then. Looks like no one's made anything for this game. No facts or guides? No way. Does this game have so few players that no one even bothered to make? That's sad. I mean, I guess it's not the first time something like that's happened, but it's still kind of depressing. Let's see, apartment conflict, that's already done, that's already done. That's already done. That's already done. That's... wait. Didn't I already do this one? So we already did that. Cable car repairs. Ready to that one as well. Ready to that. Ready did this as well. That was pretty easy. Oh, 
Okay, so there is one more side mission. That's good to know. And I suppose it's not for a little bit. Alright. That's good to know. Go ahead and head back to Ellen's research base, and we're going to continue to plot from where we left off. We got about half an hour left of stream. Let's see how far we can get in that time period. It's weird that the game still said that I already completed all side missions, even though I've only done 21 out of 22 of them. Now then, there is one more play thing I have to, one more that I need to open here. I need to figure, I need to, I need to check my screenshots folder actually. Is it this one? No. Where are all my screenshots now? I was taking them frequently. Or fairly frequently, as it were. It's not there. Oh, I'm I'm looking at them. They they're right here. So it must be one of these. Okay. It's probably this one. Yep, here we go. Man, time has not been good to her, has it? Oh, what the fuck? Punish, doctor. Oh, she's infected with mechanical virus. To me, that's what happened anyway. And it came from here, no less. No, oh, what the fuck just happened? There's a loading bar at the bottom of the screen chat. I've never seen this Rom and Alan before. Who are you? Where's Doc Allen? Who goes there? <laughs> they promised to come back and play with me. Thank you for the liars. Pits, Vin Boy. Lies to me. You came in during a very uh unnerving point you, of the game. You promised me to always lie. What is happening? Come back and play with me. But you completely forgot about me. Oh fuck. This game just went to 0 to 60 again. Uh, you're just cheering one... How many bits did you cheer one at a time? Oh my god. 
Thank you so much for the uh, bits, Vimboy. All that you had? I see. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. You didn't have many? No, it's fine. I was just surprised is all. It's um, taking a while to load up on my end though. QQ, I'm gonna give you a head pat. Ah, it's still going up to now. It's still going, it's still going. Rip. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Uh, shit, I am not prepared. Oh man, this thing's angry. What? What even is, are the hitboxes on this thing? Why am I confused? Ow. Um, am I supposed to be using the rocket launch here for this one? Let's switch to the rocket launch here, huh? Might as well. Um, chip code Ze Zeus. Okay, uh, put the, that one in there. Flash over chip. And these are electrical base, it looks like. AP. This one adds criticals. Don't really need that. Not as cute as me. <laughs> Main character in this game is cute. Not as cute as me, but still cute. Oh, Thank you, Ben Boy. She is quite cute. Even if her character is kind of lacking. Alright. Oh, she, I believe they are angry. And I'm being shot to pieces. Ow. Fucking confusion is annoying as hell. Okay, so I am supposed to be using... I am supposed to be using the rocket launcher. Good thing these things are homing. Oh. Wait, why is it not letting me do the... God damn it. I fucked up. I'm also out of rocket launcher ammo. We'll have to do this the hard way. Ow. This is the hardest boss yet. And hard enough that... I actually might have to restart this one. I mean, what the shit? Ow. Okay, that was totally my fault that then. Wait. I might have it. What are you doing? What is happening? I'd rather not, kid. I don't even know who you are. The voice acting, as usual, is superb, though. I keep don't think I could say that enough, really. Story, the uh, pacing of the storytelling, though, is kind of sus. Am I not dead yet? Even after all that? Man. 
Ow. Fucking hell. At least he's not doing a super uh, confused ray thing anymore. Cringe. 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 Ow, 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 ow. Okay. What about those friends of yours? You stay here. With me forever. I think I'm going to do it. Nope. Oh. oh shit. I am completely out of options now. It's time to spam grenades to, to not reach their target. Finally, I'm using these grenades for something, right? No, really? Game? We're doing this now? God damn it. Okay. Ah, uh, I can't make any more sortives. Clutch or kick, I guess. Fuck. I haven't law I haven't gone a game over in this game in a while, too. Well, the pattern is not that difficult, I guess, once you've seen it once. So we're going to try it again. It's weird that we were sucked into a ROM, though. I thought this was an elevator shaft. Once more, wood feeling. I've Unknown never man. Seen this ROM of Alan That's not a man. Who are you? Where's Doc Allen? <laughs> they promised to come back and play with me. <laughs> Liars! Everyone lies to me. And you, you promised me too. Always lying. Now you come back and play with me. But you completely forgot about me! Here we go. Did you forget? You promised? Now? I also totally forgot that I could just go super mode. Because I always forget that's an option. But I totally did not need to restart just then. If I had remembered to use that. not letting me use the... Ah, oh, whatever. We're doing this the hard way, after all. Ow.
I was today years old when I realized that I could just use the basic attack and it would be a lot faster for good damage. Maybe. I don't really know. Ow. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. There we go. Much better. Ow! Almost as clingy as the last BF. No shit. Yeah, I don't know why it says unknown man either. It's clearly a child. What about those friends of yours? You have to stay here. Clingy BF still. I totally feel you. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit! Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh shit. Ow. Why you? Why you? Well, you know what they say. It's not always about you. Oh man. Oh man. Almost to the end, boy. Everyone, champ. Almost to the end. Ow. Yeah. I'm tempted to just go super right now, but I don't think I need to. Need to say that for a special occasion anyway. What about those friends of yours? Alright, there. I guess canonically you use it anyway, huh? Going raiding up in this bitch, huh? The fuck is that? Memories can be erased. It's not your fault that you forgot that child. It's time for you to recall. Does she remember last time? No, she can't. No one controls your memory anymore. Yet another obstacle awaits below. So you don't actually have a invasive illness which is killing you. Okay. And yet this entire game wasn't even about that. It was about looking for your brother who went missing, who went on this giant mission to look for a cure for your mystery illness. And also bad grammar. What tragedy? What are you talking about, lady? Are we ever going to get some straight answers in this game? Probably not. We can't leave anymore, shit. It's a good thing we did everything before this chat.
Avery mission is done. A side mission is done. I should have bought a lot more restorative items. <laughs> oh. Is that a monkey? I've brought Sigrid back here. She's stable. Sigrid used her power and was able to break the chain. Also, Zero Six has arrived. It appears as if C is already affected. We need to move. He is changing rapidly. Sigrid is the only one who can help him now. K has arrived at the council chamber. Impetuous as always. <sighs> Time to act separately. Lead Zero Six toward the inner consortium. I'll meet her there. What about her brother? My god, the boy before C. Good. Use him to get Zero Six to us. Okay. on what the masked woman just told me. We're at a secret organization base. Whoa. I smell a conspiracy. I smell it too. Don't you, chat? Wait. <laughs> We're already at the end of the game. So why is this section, Intelligence Index, so empty? Is there something I'm missing? Let me check the uh, Steam forums really quick. There is no new game plus in this game. Honestly, this game was released incomplete and it still is. Well, let's see what we can find out. What the fuck is with this guy's brain? He can't talk properly. Oh look, Forklift. This woman is very dead. I'm getting some serious deja vu from being down here. Lots of dead bodies all over the place, too. Anne, what happened to these people? They look scared to death. <sighs> I'm guessing they saw something. All right. Let's go ahead and see where else we can go, actually. Unknown ticket? What's this thing do? Oh. It's, uh, money. Or old money, I should say. Before the advent of electronics. Hey, look! I ran into some arms, men. They seemed to be searching for something. So I decided to follow them. Maybe they can lead me to N540. There's probably no N540 at the end of this whole journey. Holy fuck. Roger, we're at Area B's research facility. The variant's on the loose. Eliminate on sight. Over, go! The variant's on the loose? What variant? Access denied. Can't get over there either. So there's only one direction we can go. It really is a save point, though. Huh. You could use these to make gold items. To make the, uh, powerful... To make the powerful weapons in the game. Level 1 access card required? Beautiful. What the fuck is this? Oh, hey, a teleport and a save file. A save area. Good. 
three talents. We're up to 13 now. We can probably... We can buy one more of these things for that, that's for damn sure. I should probably put more money into more experience into the instant kill plus, but we no longer have time for that. I have not used the shield at all this game, so we don't need that. I don't really need... What in the world is this? Cannot unlock yet? That just makes me curious. Max out omnipotence, omnipotence, uh, both strengthening and nimble, increases attack power. All right. So the game's saved. We could actually teleport to anywhere in the game now. If we so wished. To us, pretty much like leave this area. It's not really. So if I go through here and I end up collecting enough parts that I need, I might be able to... Let's teleport really quick. Back to Alan's research base. Oh man, it's past 8. Something tells me the la next session of this, next Monday, might be the last episode of Animutation Mutation, and then we'll have to find another game to play. So, in the interest of saving enough time, of, uh, first off, I'm also kind of fatigued, so I'm not going to lie. We're going to head and end the stream here. For now. Let's find someone to raid tonight, shall we? Did the game just crash? Always oh, does that. I did not. But uh, who should we read tonight, chat? Let's read someone that I haven't read before. Genshin Impact Inscription. South Park and Stick of Truth, Risk Green 2, Animal Crossing. So many choices. Hmm. Spooky Eris is playing Stardew. That's a pretty relaxing change of pace. I think. So let's go ahead and re go over there. Thank you once again to everyone for showing up today. Wednesday we're having we're playing Outward again, and Friday we're having another fighting game tournament. We are playing Guilty Gear Strive. Also. I'm thinking about changing my streaming hours. How would you guys feel if I streamed a lot later in the evening? Um, right now, I stream from 5 in the evening to 8 p.m. I'm thinking about switching it to 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Should be easier also for the uh, Asian crowd to come in and visit. But it'll be much more difficult for the people in the U.S. and Europe to visit for obvious reasons, right? Just something to think about. I'll probably bring this up again on Twitter or something or in the Discord. <laughs> Let's get ready to go. Our typical raid message is the lulz is lulz raid. But as always, feel free to use the emojis of your choice depending on what you have available. 
without further ado, I'll see y'all guys later. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. I want to be a